Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I partnered up with Jinmitsu and they sent me their new 4040 Reno CNC machine. They wanted me to open it up, put it together, try it out and see what I think about it. Now I will tell you this, I am kind of excited about this machine for one reason the price. It's about $150 cheaper than what you can find on any other machine that pairs up with its qualities. The the closest competitor is about $600 and right now this is running about $449. I understand that there is a lot of options that you can purchase when you're looking at a CNC machine. You can look at the size of the spindle, if it has linear rails, ball rails, belt driven rails, how big the machine is. This is a 4040, which means that it's 400 millimeters by 400 millimeters on the X, Y axis, the Z axis, how big of a piece of wood or material you can put in between that. There's a lot of factors that really ride on your very first machine. But for the price, honestly, that was my number one go-to. I really didn't want to invest a ton of money Money. If I was going to hate CNC machining, then I wasn't too much money out because you're really not going to resell your CNC machine for a ton of money. You, it's really difficult to resell these things. I personally wouldn't have bought a used one. So with that being said, just keep that in mind with this machine. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and open this thing up. Check it out. See what's up on the inside. I think it's going to take about 30 to 45 minutes, probably max to put it together. So here we go. Alright guys, now that we went ahead and got this thing unboxed, ready to go, I went ahead and just went over the list, made sure that we have all the parts that it needed, we're not short any screws or anything like that. So with that being said, I don't think this thing is going to take very long, probably about 30 to 45 minutes to get assembled and ready to start cutting. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get onto it. Here we go.
right guys, so I went ahead and I got the Jinmitsu Reno put together. This thing actually was really easy to put together. The instructions were easy. It's nice and squared up. I've got everything laid out that I want to do. So the only thing left to do at this point is just to do a test cut. And with that, I'm going to be using my laptop. I have this little block of wood, which is just a six inch by five and a half inch block. I'm just going to use the tape and glue method to hold it down. There are actual holes here with the little clamps that you can use to hold down your material. I'm not ultimately a fan of that. So what I'm going to do is just use the tape and glue method and hold that down without using those clamps. They do come with some really cheap, inexpensive um, little metal brackets that kind of clamp your piece down. We are gonna use the bits that are supplied. These are a 30 degree V-bit. They are a 1 8 inch shank right there. All right, so this is the bit we're gonna use. This is just the uh, 30 degree V-bit. Again, this is just gonna be a real simple test cut of my logo, the Crawl Space Craftsman. We're gonna do a depth of two millimeters Nothing crazy. I just want to make sure that this thing goes in all the directions without any problems. So with that being said, let's go ahead and tape down the piece of pine and then make sure our Z probe is set up. I'm not going to go through a bunch of details on how to create a design and do all this stuff. There are a ton of videos on my channel and other channels as well that you can check that out. For right now though, for the test of the machine, we need to go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and get, uh, get started. Here we go. guys that is it that is the video that is the Jinmitsu 4040 Reno CNC machine my final thoughts on this um it's a good machine honestly for a first time cnc -er, I would recommend this machine just because it's super easy to build it's very inexpensive and honestly it is ridiculously quiet with this little 70 watt motor you're not going to basically hear anything you can almost run this in your house and nobody is going to hear it anywhere else throughout the house because it is really quiet the other thing is the compact lightweight design i like the fact that this control box is really small sticks out just a little couple inches out of the side and it's extremely lightweight watch this For as sturdy as this is, it's an extremely lightweight machine. It comes in one box and you can lift it and put it together anywhere in your house or in your workshop and have it off to the side. It does have a couple of adjustable spots where you can put your Z-axis. I actually have it in the lowest spot right now, so I can raise it up if I had a big piece of wood, you know, something a little bit thicker. Also, it does have a place where you can put an MPG, which is a controller. That way you can control your X, Y, Z axis or even a fourth axis by hand. You don't have to use your computer, something like this. So with that MPG, you can control it without a computer, which is really 
really awesome. I highly recommend if you do get something like this to get yourself an MPG. Also, it has the offline controller. So if you don't wanna hook up a computer, you can do your work from a separate workstation take that file, that G-code file, put it in an SD card, and then hook it up to an offline controller. That way this doesn't even need to be hooked up to a computer, which is pretty awesome. So there are a bunch of videos on that as well. This does have an A-axis, which you can use in a fourth, basically. It's a, like a mini lathe. I guess that's the best way to put it. It's a mini lathe that you can put it here and what will happen is the only thing that'll go back is this way and then this will roll your piece of wood so you can do cylindrical pieces of wood or something along that lines, which is pretty awesome as well. The other thing is it does have a port in the back that you can hook up a laser as well. So there is an adapter that you can get for a laser if you're interested in upgrading your machine to a laser machine. One of the things I do not like that they did was, and I hope they can fix it, is they put the Z probe onto the back of the gantry. So as this whole thing moves, this wire moves around with it, and I really don't like that. I wish they would have just put it onto the control box, and then that way you can have plugged it in here, and then put it, you know, your Z-axis wherever your board is right there. The other thing is, these Z-probes, I'm not a big fan of them either, they're plastic. These things don't sit right, so they don't have a very uniform thickness. I like the solid aluminum blocks. They're much easier to use. They have a more uniform shape. So where this one, I think at one point was 12.1 millimeters. And then back here it was 12.49. So it almost was like at an angle. So unfortunately, when I Z probed this little piece of wood, it really wasn't the correct Z probe height. So I do have to mess around with that a little bit but it did its job. It did what I wanted to do. I just did a really quick test piece on this pine with that 30 degree bit and it worked out perfect. Although the engraving is nothing special, uh, it does have some chip out. I have no uh, qualms with that with the machine. That is the wood and that is the design that I did. It has nothing to do with the machine itself. It's basically user error. You know what? Finally, if you never used a CNC machine, I would say yes, this is worth it. If you are just wanting to get into it and try for it, 449 bucks is not a you know huge investment to make onto this machine i will have a link in the description below if you are interested it is an amazon affiliate account so i do get some kickback from that as well so i would really appreciate if you're interested to check that link out and then uh purchase through there. All right, guys, that is it. That is the video of the day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go down below, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell button. That way you get notified of all of my newest videos. And until that next video, make sure you all do one thing. Stay awesome. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.